Does your storage room look like this? Well, do I have the solution for you? Alrighty guys, so this add-on is just like the mod Applied Energistics 2 that is available on Java Edition. It's just a lot simpler on Bedrock Edition, but I think it's a really great addition and it looks super good. So I hope the creator continues to develop this thing because I genuinely think it could be something. Um, one thing to note is if you do have this add-on, everything needs to be enabled. Uh, beta APIs, it wasn't working for me because I didn't enable beta APIs, but now I did. But when you first load into your world, you're going to start off with this book, the Advanced Storage Network Tutorial Book. Um, if not, you can craft it. Here's the crafting recipe just for booking an emerald, emerald, and it gives you this book. But basically, it's like a tutorial. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't show recipes on here, which I think would be nice. Um, but it does show all the items, and when you click on said item, it gives you the description. But I'm not going to be using this. I'm going to dumbify it for y'all. Um, yeah, so once you have that book, the first thing to get into this mod is this book right here. These are cables. Um, as you can see, it takes two iron, two gold, uh, two copper, two redstone, and an emerald to make 16 storage cables. We will be taking these. Um, these storage cables just basically move stuff around and connect everything together. Next thing here is we have your storage core. This is the heart of your storage system. You have to craft this. It's two diamonds, an amethyst shard, a comparator, a repeater, an emerald, two iron blocks, and a storage cable, which gives you your storage core. Now, next, you need something to store the items in, a storage drive. So the first thing you'll craft is this storage disk casing, two or four smooth stone, two iron, and some glass, which gives you this storage disk casing. Next thing here is we have the storage disk core, which is four emeralds, two copper, one gold, one redstone, and one amethyst shard here in this pattern, which gives you the storage disk core. Now, basically, you combine these two together and you get your storage disk. Now, you will need three of these, so you're going to have to repeat that process all over again to get three of these to make this thing, which is the storage drive here, which is three storage disks. Four blocks of iron, two smooth stone, which gives you this. We will take this as well. And now let's actually take this core. So let's go ahead and take this core. Next thing is you got to be able to access a terminal to be able to put in items and pull out items, which is what this thing here is here. You need two or two diamonds, two emeralds, a redstone lamp, and four storage cables, which gives you the storage interface. Now that's pretty much it. That's all the items you need to get a basic storage system going. So first thing you would do is place, let's say, uh, your storage drive at the bottom, your storage core, and a storage interface here. As you can see, your storage system is pretty much done. When you right click the drive, it will show you how many units you have. 3,000 units. This doesn't mean 3,000 blocks, unfortunately. It's just a random number. Um, your storage Core will show you the amount of space you have, the connected interfaces, and the amount of drives. So now you can continue to upgrade this thing. So let's say I was to put all three around here. Like that. If we go to the back here. As you can see, we have eight storage drives. Now if I go over here, I believe it won't detect that one. No, it does. That's crazy. Um... I was saying you may need to connect it with the cable. Well, apparently you don't. So now that you can see our max storage is 24,000 units on um, one interface and eight connected drives. Now, this is your storage interface. Let's say I want to store all these things in here. I don't need any more. So go in there. As you can see, when you hover over in an item, you can look something up. So let's say I need, where's my storage? Oh, it is working. Working. Cancel search. The search is already enabled. You can switch through different pages, which is super cool here. And let's say you want to find an item. So let's say I pull out four of these, which it does allow you. I could believe I put these in here, and then they'll automatically be put in 
where they're supposed to go. This is basically just the input slot, but you can shift right click an item in there and it will go in there. As you can see, it does pop up, which is nice. Now, the only issue with this is, let's say I'm far away and I need to access my storage system. I don't know what to do. Well, there's actually a wireless solution for you. First thing you need to craft is this antenna here. Two gold, an amethyst shard, two copper, two iron, a diamond, and an eye of ender, which gives you this wireless storage interface antenna. Now, I wasn't able to put it in an item frame, the next item, because for some reason it just doesn't work. But we will be crafting this wireless storage interface. Basically, you use the antenna, two emeralds, a storage interface, and three iron. Now, when you take this item, what you need to do is you do need, you do need to do something specific here. We're just going to submit this one. If I scroll all the way down here, add on configuration, you need to use this command here. Um, you need to use follow these add-on configurations and add it. It will tell you, um, yeah, they're right here. The script event, fluffy alien add-on rule, and you just put true um, for it to work. The next thing you do is you right click, do a, a storage core, which gives you the wireless storage interface link, as you can see on my top right. Now let's say I go over here. Boom, I can access my stuff here. Let me pull out eight of these. And as you can see, I have eight of them, which is absolutely fantastic. I don't know the distance, how far you can access it. Let's try going all the way over here and see if we can still access the item. As of yep, still got access to it. And I still have access to it. I don't know the testing range. I'll probably put that down in the description below. Um, I think it's infinite though. You should be able to access it anywhere you go. Um, and then this will only be linked to this interface right here. But that's basically the basics of the mod, but there are a couple more items I do want to talk about. So let me go ahead and put these back in here. We're gonna go over here and demonstrate some items I have for you. As you can see, there are three different colored uh, interfaces. This is a import bus, a storage import bus, two redstone, four storage cables, a hopper, a comparator, and a repeater. Now, we're gonna take this import bus, and as you can see, I have a basic storage system set up here. There's nothing in here, um, but I have a storage chest here, and oh my god, I have a bunch of totem love and dyings. What am I supposed to do? Well, you get this import bus, you need to be looking at the chest you wanna do, and you just right click. And as you can see, the cables will automatically connect um, here. Now, as you can see, they're already being taken away and they are, all 162 have been added. Now, that's basically how the storage input bus goes. Anything you put in here will automatically be put into the system as you can see. Now, one thing I do wanna get for the next one is a bunch of sugar cane. As you can see, we're gonna input a bunch of sugar cane here. We have 512. Next is the export bus. Basically the same recipe, you're just replacing the middle object with a dropper. Now we take the storage export bus and we actually do some wild things with it. Now, as you can see, I have a chest here with a hopper set up and an auto crafter. So if I go ahead, Placing the chest, go ahead and place it. As you can see, I'm not holding anything. So if I go back and I grab a piece of sugar cane and I right click it, as you can see, it is exporting the sugar cane. As you can see, it's going in here, which in return should be going to the hopper and then should be going into the auto crafter. As you can see, the auto crafter is pulling up. Now you can just go ahead up a system to auto craft stuff for you just like that and you can make pretty much every recipe possible um in minecraft and just have it auto set up one thing that is super important too is we do have this third and final item which i think is really cool this 
is the storage level emitter. As you can see, he has some redstone dust, um, four storage cables, and then the repeaters and comparators. Um, but you're basically just replacing the middle object with an observer, which gives you the storage level emitter here. Now this thing's pretty nice. Let's say for example, I want to go ahead and uh, let me know when I'm running out of iron, as you can see. So let's say it's currently not testing anything. We're going to grab a thing of ice here. We're going to put equal to, and let's go. Let's say when I have only 64 ice left, please let me know in light of this lamp. So we're going to go ahead and get some ice. We're going to put it in the storage system and put the ice in there. And as you can see, the redstone lamp adds up completely, um, lights up the repeater, and then alerts the light. But I'm sure you could do this with make huge redstone contraptions that are able to tell the system, hey, I need more of this, auto craft this for me, and make more of this for me. Um, you could actually get pretty in depth with it, as you can see. But if you were to just put this little emitter next to the redstone block and not have a repeater here, it will not work. I've already tried that, unfortunately. But that is pretty much the mod, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, please like and subscribe. Let's try to get, I'm hoping to get like 5,000 subscribers by August. Um, check out this mod. I'll definitely be adding it to a test realm. So if you guys are interested in that, I can go ahead and give you the, the realm code for that for our modded realm here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe as you see fit. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Goodbye.